been having that going on today. Not fun. But I am feeling better. Thank you for asking. Uh, I had a bit of a cold there for a couple days, but uh, the work the work continues whether I'm sick or not. So we just keep going. Uh, I wanted to give you guys an idea of how much we've cleared. So I want to give you uh, I'm going to give you an actual look at what it is so that people go like, what are you talking about? And I go, here you go. So I want to show you how overgrown this is. It's this overgrown right here. <laughs> it's uh, well over your head in most spots. There are sticker bushes that are stuck to my pants right now. You can see right here, you got sticker sticker bushes everywhere. Welcome to Western Washington, by the way. If you uh, if you don't like um, sticker bushes, they they'll show up. They'll be here. Coyotes, sticker bushes, all of it. It'll all be here. Anyhow, this is what the brush looks like. So I'm going to start at one end here. So the total run of the property from the gravel road headed that way, length, is uh, approximately 440 feet. So if you take steps, you're going to get right around 200 steps. So somewhere in the middle of those, I have been clearing all of this land. Right. So as you can see, I've been clearing the land, and because I've been clearing the land, I get giant piles like that of dirt, giant piles of mixture of hay and all sorts of stuff like that. And then we've done a bunch of exploratory holes. There actually is a pipe down in there, dug with a shovel. We've done this a bunch of times to locate the pipe. Now the funny part is, all of this cleared land here, this will stay like this for probably six, seven months. Then next spring, all of the seed will be out here and everything will start to grow like crazy. Um, in a season, this will have a tendency to get extraordinarily grown up very rapidly and that's basically what we've been contending with every time we've decided to come out that you know oh it's been like two years since we decided to come out and look around well after doing that over and over again we finally found it today today i was just out here with the tractor we broke the tractor and i'm gonna go take we'll go over the the broken tractor here in a second Today, I was here by myself, testing out the tractor, ever since fixing it, fixing the bucket. And I decided I'm just gonna keep clearing and I'm gonna keep scraping. I'm gonna keep scraping, I'm gonna keep scraping, I'm gonna keep scraping, and eventually, I'm gonna clear enough material, I'm going to find this thing. Well, I didn't realize I found this the first time I scooped it up. I didn't know. After the fact, I was driving around with the tractor and I looked over at the pile and I saw this thing sitting like that in the pile. And I went, holy crap, did somebody find a cover a different day? Which is weird. It's weird that your brain would think that, but my brain immediately thought somebody found this the other day and they didn't even mention it. I don't know why, but yeah. Then I thought, no, that was me. <laughs> so I came out with my trusty rake to go analog style and start scraping around until I found something that was round that this would sit in. And we have found it. We have found it, folks. We have found the water shut off. As you can see, the ants have found it also, which is great. These are what are called thatching ants.
those are what are called thatching ants. They uh, they will bite you a little bit. They're not as bad as fire ants like in the south, um, but they do get a little bit bitey. But you won't really get all the weird uh, little little pussy bites from them that you do with like fire ants. But regardless, they're uh, adventuring down into this hole and then getting stuck in there like a bunch of idiots. Uh, and that's because the sides of the cover are plastic and they can't climb back out. So they're trying to figure out how to get out. Um, and maybe I'll give them a bridge. I'm going to give them a stick bridge and maybe they'll be able to get out. Maybe they'll notice it. Anyhow, I'll give them a little stick bridge like that. <clears throat> and maybe they'll figure out how to get out of there. I don't know. We do have a lot of thatching ants here. They do create big piles, you know, uh, and, uh, they're a little bit nasty, but you know, not that bad. Anyhow, we finally found the valve here. It is shut off and you will notice that there is a one inch stub out coming off of it, uh, to supply water to the property. And now I'm having to dig over there to find where the stub out goes. Uh, I've got a bunch of roots in my way and a bunch of crap in my way and it's basically going to be me digging for a little while to find it uh, and we'll come back once I find that. Alright so we got a dug out. One of the things that we need to do is cut off these little doodads here. They're designed to be cut off by the way. Can you break them? I guess on this size you can't break them, but we'll cut those off right quick. Slap this bad boy in and then we'll we'll backfill with dirt again. Yep, and just break out these little guys. Then it's gonna fit right over where it needs to be. Take the top off. All right, so as you can see, we've got, it's not exactly level. So we're gonna add a little dirt. We're gonna dig a little more and level it out. I've actually just been um, using this little stick to uh, dig around where I need to get so as not to use the shovel too much. If you use the shovel too much, you run the risk of hitting this water line right here, and uh, we don't want to do that. All right, nice and level. We're gonna put the cover back on. There we go. Now we're just gonna fill that in with dirt and uh, we'll be good to go. Well, now we know where it is too.